Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another What's on the Table. In this short video, I will be showing you how I made this seafood boil using shrimp and imitation crab legs. The last time I used imitation crab, you all loved it, so I thought I would share another recipe using imitation crab. So let's get into it. The first thing I did here was cut up and organize all of the vegetables and meat. You can see here on this platter, I have celery, cubed potatoes, sliced smoked sausage, diced onion, and lemon. I will have the recipe I used as a guide listed below for those that are wanting exact measurements. So I brought a pot of water to a boil and seasoned it with Cajun seasoning. Slap Ya Mama is our favorite and we use it all the time. And some chicken bouillon powder. After the water was seasoned, I added in all of the vegetables that I just showed you, um, including some matchstick carrots, minced garlic, frozen corn, and two bay leaves. One thing I didn't have and I feel like would have made this recipe 10 times better would have been the small corn on the cobs. I really didn't like the aesthetics of the kernels, um, but it tasted just as good regardless. When the potatoes are almost cooked through, that is when the meat gets added. So I put in the sausages first and then let them cook for about five minutes. I then added in the shrimp and the imitation crab lakes. My suggestion is to get the large sized shrimp. You really want the seafood to stand out when making this dish, obviously, because it is a seafood boil. So I feel like the shrimp that I used were just too small. Um, so that's just a little suggestion or tip. Also, while we're talking about seafood, keep in mind that shrimp cooks extremely fast. So you really only need to put it in there at the very end of cooking because it only takes like two minutes, three minutes max. Um, just because obviously the liquid and stuff is so hot so it cooks very quickly um, and the last thing you want is like rubbery shrimp so just basically put it in there toss it around and it's time to come out or turn the stove off turn the oven off and move on the 
before I fully drained the liquid from the seafood boil. I saved about one and a half cups of broth to use later. To the broth, I added some melted butter, parsley, and red pepper flakes, um, which I mixed together and added back to the seafood boil once it was drained. This meal was so good and everyone in my family, including the kids and hubby loved it. Again, my takeaways would be to use corn on the cob and larger shrimp. But other than that, I give this meal 10 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already joined my growing YouTube family, please consider subscribing today so you don't miss any future uploads. And until the next time, I'll see you then, bye.